Growing can be painful. I know, they call it growing pains for a reason, right? <laughs> hey, hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. I just, you know, wanted to remind you and me that sometimes when we're hurting but still feeling all right, like I have been lately, it's because I'm growing, expanding into new parts of myself, letting go of old parts, and and it's sometimes it's beyond uncomfortable it can actually be painful because our bodies get used to addicted if you will to certain chemistry and they will actually they I say uh, what I meant is the cells of your body are sentient beings that have their own habits and desires and needs and they will create a chemical cocktail which can be very painful if they're not getting what they need or getting what they're used to. And in fact, so for me, I have long had a really destructive, self-destructive habit of feeling victimized and drawing that energy to me. And it's taken me half my lifetime or so to kind of really realize that and start to put in to action my, my shifting. And I feel like the last couple weeks I really have been shifted instead of shifting oh my goodness it's beautiful out there and uh, but anyways even though I feel like I've shifted and even though I'm feeling positive on the whole I've been hurting a lot and um, I'm able to recognize thankfully that that's just kind of my body's old habitual pattern and uh, much like being addicted to alcohol which I currently more or less am too, or my body is. Um, and when I, so I go January and July with no alcohol to offset the fact that I drink pretty regularly the rest of the year lately. And, uh, and this last month when I did that, my body really did not feel good a lot of the time. And I kind of became aware that, that my body was trying to let me know that it wanted what it's used to and the same with this victim mentality this frame of mind that comes from feeling victimized which feels really terrible but at the same time is a familiar enough feeling that my body I think lately um, my my chemistry kind of returns to that if I'm not really on the ball or even when I'm I think I'm being on the ball sometimes I fall into that old chemistry, that old thought pattern, because it's familiar, and even though it's uncomfortable and it hurts, the body would rather be in familiar terrain, because unfamiliar terrain, which I've been stepping into, can be really scary and uh, bring up a lot of feelings of insecurity, and the body's whole job, whole, you know, programming is to maintain homeostasis and Security your brain's job is to you know promote security so um, as in a sense of feeling secure so it makes sense that as I struggle with or I, see it makes sense that as I change as I shift these struggles come up because my body's used to all these old habits and habits and patterns and so what I'm working on lately is new patterns, new habits, and that takes some discipline, some self-discipline and some practice. It doesn't happen just overnight when you've had certain habits for 40 some years like I have. It takes takes a while to change them. Hopefully not more than a lifetime. We'll see. <laughs> I think I do think I'm doing a good job of putting new patterns in place and uh and it's frustrating at times as I do that at times <laughs> because then that struggle, those feelings, those same feelings of unworthiness, of being victimized, of being taken for granted, of being unloved, unlovable, all those kind of feelings come up for me. And the thing that I know, because I'm 47 this year, is that is that those feelings reoccur in me for a myriad of different reasons. And that's why I know it's a chemical pattern and 
um, not like not a legitimate, you know, not something I really need to address, but just something I need to let go of basically. So that's what I've been working on. I'd love to know what you think of that. Let me know in the comments. As always, you can find ways to connect to me and support me in the description below. And until next time, I wish you peace, possibilities, progress, potential, love, lightness, worthiness, new doors opening, opportunities, and playfulness.